Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get the latest status for a particular order ID. I have a sample shipping data here. I have order ID, I have ship date and I have my status. Now, I want to know what is the latest status against this particular order ID. So this is what we are going to be learning today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'll do here is let me add the order ID and let me add the ship date here into a new column and change the ship date here to show us the ship date and not the entire hierarchy and uh, actually I will get rid of the ship date because I don't need the dates uh, and I just need the new status to be populated here which is the latest one okay so let's go here and click on create new measure we will be creating a new measure here and oops I'm gonna go back click on new measure so let's call this measure as latest status is equals to let's start with defining a variable here we'll say current uh, product is a equals to the selected value okay of my uh, prod status order ID okay so this is my order ID and then I'm then I'm going to create another variable here uh, where we will be identifying the latest date here so we'll say latest date is equals to calculate max of ship date from my prod status table here okay comma we'll be using the treat as function here and then within the curly brackets here i'm going to say current product this is the variable that we have just created okay and then close the uh, curly brackets here comma and then i'm going to enter the uh, order id here order id from my prod table order id okay and then close the bracket once and then twice and then thrice three times uh, close the bracket actually uh, which must close up the max bracket here itself so make sure you do that okay and then on the next line here let's define another variable here called as result is equals to uh, I'm going to use the calculate function again values um, what do I want to return I want to return the status here from the prod status table okay comma and my filter here is going to be the ship date is equals to latest date this is the variable that we have created latest date is the variable okay and then i'm going to close the bracket here and then go to the next line and say return result and press enter let's see what happens and let's quickly bring in this particular measure here into the table that we have here latest status so if you look at this particular example the first one ending with 800 the the, the latest date is 8 jan and the order is shipped that's what is showing here and for example if we look at 7199 order id the latest date here is 12th jan and the status is returned and that is what is being displayed here so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for